Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Rebirth. This is episode 3 and I'm King of the Zeds and we're about to get our day started by getting our second NPC because I've just crafted a wood door which when I pick that up is going to be the trigger for getting my butcher trainer. So let's stick him down outside with our man Briston and here he is. So this is our guy who we can buy our missions from for getting all of our various crafting stations. Uh, however, as you can see, there are some that we can't get until we're much higher level. So we'll leave him there for now. We've got an important note here. We need a number of components for crafting. Basically, it's telling us to trash everything and we're gonna get some parts. So we'll get rid of that for now. What we're gonna do today is a couple of missions. Let's stick that door here just as a little bit of extra protection, just in case. And let's head off to the trader across the road because we are currently level nine and the first two missions that we want to do to get our gas stovetop and our furnace require us to be level 10. So we're going to head over to the trader, pick up a mission, get enough XP to get to level 10 and then we'll take on at least one of those missions and unlock one of our next crafting stations. So let me pop in here, pick up a mission and then let's get to it. Let's make a bang. So a couple of things to mention that I did overnight. I have looted the top two floors of our base. Um, I've also given myself a helmet light mod. We didn't find one in the first couple of days and just to make it better experience for you, not having to watch a fucking pitch black game at night, I've taken the liberty of giving myself one of those so that we can both, you and I, see what the hell is going on and where we're going. So yeah, I've given myself a light mod and I also crafted a pipe machine gun so all the looting that I did around the house gave me enough glue and pipe and whatnot to uh, to craft this so hopefully that's going to make these missions a little bit easier okay so this is only a fetch I don't have to go and get the stash if I don't feel like it so we'll see how the first few swings of this fucking thing go if I can do it without getting hit, that'll be an absolute bonus. Fucking tight. What are you going inside for? I'll show you back in there then while I get my stamina back. Um, do you know what? It's probably going to help if I have a coffee. Uh, okay, you can do that if you want. Oh shit. Die. Oh, there we go, level 10. We only needed to kill one zombie. Well... We're doing it, so we might as well finish. Let me loot up these bits and pieces here. Uh, something cool as well, just in Rebirth, is that we can take a lot of... Well, this one's broken, so I can't take that. But check this out. All these computers. 50 bucks, that's worth. So I'm just going to take them all and sell them <laughs> and get some free money. Okay, here's the satchel. Done. All right, so we can technically leg it at any moment if we uh, get a little bit overwhelmed. Oh, uh, okay, I don't know where you came from. Uh, but I'm fighting you outside. I'm not getting messed up in there. Oh, shit. Zombie Jace is a named one. Could be a time to get the fucking gun out. Yes, okay. Oh, what is this? What the fuck was that with the light on his head? Yo, are kidding me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna drink a red tea because it's gonna allow me to run faster to get away from this shit. What the actual fuck? I'm on a mission, dude. Fucking hell. What is going on? Is he? Sp oh, fuck off! Oh no, 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 no. Fuck, get in the car! I can't get in! Okay, this doesn't reverse very fast. <laughs> the good news is that I can uh, 
buy myself a little bit of time over here and fucking heal. Okay, we'll let that... Oh, is that dog going to fight the big dude? I don't know. Man, I really don't have much health stuff. Um, I'm just going to use all these bandages. That dude's not going to leave us alone, is he? Fuck. Okay, we're going for the headshots. We better have something good. Before he's spending all these fucking bullets. What the hell? He didn't have anything good. Apart from a blue bag. Well, I was lucky that I picked up a satchel for that mission. We'll have to go back and finish looting that later. Oh my god. We achieved our first objective of the day anyway. We're level 10, so let's go Watch your hand this in. Didn't we agree your first job was uh, for free? At this rate, Damn, ammo this is all I can spare. It's going to be valuable, although I wish it was a fucking 762 ammo. Sailing. And we'll get back home. Finish this uh, this murky water quest that our geezer gave us. And then we'll head out and do one of these missions to get our, uh, our next crafting schematic. So, what does he want us to do? Stay hydrated. Gather some murky water. Okay, here's the cool thing about this mod. I think he gave me 10 of these empty water glasses. Hold a glass, right click over a sink, and you can fill it up with murky water. All right, okay, next part of this mission, he wants us to place a campfire and boil the water, so we'll do that. And while we're waiting for these waters, let's have a look. We might as well activate both of these missions. So we've got one here that's going to give us the furnace. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oh, radiation poisoning. Trader Network needs your help in getting rid of toxic zombies and animals before they start poisoning the water resources. Okay, so we've got to kill a bunch of toxic zombies. And Prussian Blue Remedy for curing radiation. So... <laughs> I don't know what that might manifest as, but uh, yeah, I guess we can cure it. And gas stovetop, so level 10 also. Let's read this. Faction war, fighting the Black Shield. Watch for their cyborg. They're dangerous. If you manage to kill it, check what it may be carrying. Okay, that's where the blueprint's going to be. All right, accept. Where are these on the map then? Gas stove faction wars there. Oh, Furnace, that's right in town, almost. I guess we can do that one first, as soon as it's just up the road. The other one's not too far. Not sure if we can get to it today, but we can give it a red hot go. Uh, okay, grab these waters. That's gonna activate the next bit. Meat and eggs, one of the easiest things to find around here. Plenty of nests, okay, it's telling us how to make bacon and eggs. Okay, we've got fat, eggs, and meat. Now, interestingly, Animal fat is not cooking fat. We have to actually craft cooking fat from animal fat. We can get rid of those waters for now and do them after we finish the food. So now we've got that cooking fat, we can make our bacon and eggs. And, I don't know if you just noticed, but again, part of this mod, when whatever you're crafting has finished, it turns the crafting station off so you don't burn through all of your fuel. So that's absolutely genius. Uh, okay, so we'll cook those bacon and eggs and then we'll have to wait for those to be done so we can pick them up, get the rest of those boiled waters going. That's three. And that is that part of the mission done. Okay, place brown boxes. So, all right, this is just telling us about storage. So it's given us a couple of these shitty boxes. We'll just put them down to complete this part of the mission and then we'll get rid of them later. Uh, okay, next it's telling us ways you can salvage crafting stations. Yeah, okay, we've got a wrench. It's given us a bicycle because the game assumes that we haven't found that car yet. The only part that we need to do now is gather a repairable workbench. So we've got to find a house that's got a workbench in it and then we have to crank it with the wrench. However, first we have to decide which one of these missions we're gonna go for. So where was it? I think it was the furnace, wasn't it? Let's activate seven. Yeah, there we go, that's the closest one stick my thing away my empty glasses oh yeah and check it out i hear uh, i 
stole a fridge from next door and put it next to this one because, uh, yeah, just in case we need any extra storage for food. How much money have we got? 1700 I think it's definitely worth taking a Briston with us to this mission. I really am low on, uh, on ammo and I can't really afford to buy any more. So it's going to be more cost effective to bring Briston with us. So let's do that. Yes, 250 bucks. That is a price well worth paying. So now let's head over to that mission. getting close so let's get ready all right let's get Briston out stick him on the ground is it worth him clearing up the immediate zombies before we trigger the mission it might be I'm gonna say yes okay I think that's it all right, I'm gonna go guns blazing and I'll start with a coffee and a red tea just for the extra fucking stamina and speed and everything so let's go where's the boss he's over here oh my god okay they're coming headshots all the way I think I'm gonna need more than the number of bullets that I've got Oh fuck, he's doing Briston in. Okay, that's a good guy, that's not a bandit. I was worried we were going to get fucked over then. Oh shit. Too close. I really could use some explosives. Uh oh, I'm down to two bullets. Okay, it's over to the shitty pipe pistol now. Oh my god, what's that? Near death will now hurt some, what does that mean? Okay, do we need to tidy up some of these little bastards? Oh no, Briston's on the floor, what the hell's going on? Definitely looks like we need to take, take these little ones out and then concentrate on the big guy afterwards. What's the situation? This is just a big guy now. Come on. Do I dare fucking swipe him with this? Oh, and he's down. Down he goes. Yes. Nice one. There's our furnace. Done. Are oh, you bitch? Sweet. <laughs> okay, I'll just pick up some of the shit off these corpses. Oh, I can there's loads of loot bags as well. This is sweet. I'm glad the... Uh, the guys out there, you know, the helpers, not the bandits, the opposite ones, whatever they are, survivors. I'm glad they don't take the loot bags. Oh my god, loads. This was a haul. And that, I think, is that. Oh, Briston, you fucking legend. Alright, how much of this can I sell back to you? Alright, Briston, you're coming with me, mate. Whoa, holy shit, what is this? Please tell me this is a working vehicle. Oh, repairable big rig. We have got to fix this fucking thing up. Do you know what? I'm even going to mark this. Big rig. Done. Don't know if it's any good, but it looks fucking badass. Uh, okay, how close do I want to get? Oh, there's a fucking bear. Oh my god. No worries. Don't exactly know what to expect here, but it's happening. Oh. Who's. I don't know who the good guys are. Okay, the bandits are the bad guys. Oh shit. Bandits and zombies. Yeah, okay. Alright, time to take a coffee. 
and a uh, one of these red tea. Oh, this is crazy. This is okay. Yeah, that's the run speed is what we need. Oh, these bandits can fuck off. Okay, I've lost Bristol. I've got no idea. Oh, no, there's a zombie. No, it's a bandit. Okay, last bullet. What am I going to use it on? Fucking hell. I think the boss is getting fucked with by the bear over there, which is genius. Okay, that's the last bullet. What can I do now? It's Declan, that's a good guy. Okay, that's dead. Oh, I've got to get some fucking hits on this dude. Come on. Oh no. Okay, that's good. Why does that bear keep fucking looking at me? Okay, that's dead. That thing's dead. Let's see if I can quickly go in and nab. Nab that. Okay, done. Might as well loot up while we're here as well. <laughs> oh, look at that. We've got another coffee. Oh, okay. I'm going to save you, mate. I can die. Okay. Whew. That was... Fucking hairy for a minute there. I wouldn't want to be doing this without my man Briston. We now have a gas stovetop schematic, which we can read. And now we have knowledge, baby. It's relatively early in the day. I reckon we head back to town, see if we can maybe finish off looting the, uh, the computer, the net cafe. Hang on, I see a dead rooster up ahead. I think I see our first horde base right there. That might be a job for the next episode, but I fucking love that place. Oh, shh. I, oh, what the hell? Where were you? <laughs> okay. Concentrate, grasshopper. Okay, this is interesting. We've got a table saw. I think we can make these anyway now because we've got the schematic for a mission, but to make it, we need a blade we don't have a blade but if we wrench this thing then we can actually repair it with iron pipe and screws and then we'll have a table saw that we can take home and use so we'll do that when we get back okay nice right after we finish looting this place okay there's one the butcher Uh, he's not going down very easily. Oh, bloody hell. Here we go. I haven't got the stamina to keep fucking running and slicing. Oh, this dude, why is he so fast? I haven't got any red tea for the speed anymore. Oh, fuck me. Alright, they've uh, doubled back around. Oh, I've got no bullets. Right, maybe this won't be as straightforward as I thought. Get the fuck down. One more bullet I think she needed. Oh. Okay, that's him. Done. Oh, and he dropped us a nice little loot bag as well. She's down. Oh, didn't even see that fucking mo bag over there. Come on. Yes. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's quiet. Ooh, look at that. A nice little recipe. Oh, and 17 bullets. Sweet. Yeah, we've got a actually check all the trash and everything now because I can't remember which little note I read it on but it turns out that some of the stuff some of the important shit we need can be found only in certain types of uh, loot container which 
you know, it's good in a way, because it makes sure we actually clear places out properly. But uh, yeah, it just means that I can't be complacent about only going for the best stuff anymore. But here we go, there's the loot. I thought I saw the top of it. Uh, not the greatest stash, but it's a clear POI now. Hang on, what am I doing? You dumbass. Oh, big mama. You can fuck right. Oh shit. Oh bloody hell. It's a horde. What the what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm not even joking. Shit. Okay, let's just take a moment, everybody. <laughs> Only half of them are coming this way. Fucking nurse Jackie, come on. Oh shit. I am not used to zombies running. Oh no! I'm out of stamina. I can't run. Drink coffee. Oh, <laughs> she bled out. That is a good thing of having the uh, the machete. It's got the fucking the bleed thingy on it. Let's see if we can do these one by one. Do you reckon we can do an entire wandering horde one by one? Although, looks like half of them have vacated now, so we might get lucky. Dead. Just got this old guff nugget over here now to sort out. Give me some slice action. There we go. So where are the rest of those zombies? Hopefully they just passed on through. Okay, sweet. I think we've got enough of a buffer on our health for uh, maybe one or two hits. Um, oh, but yeah, check it out. There's loads of computers in, in here as well, so we'll just grab those up. Right, what didn't we loot from in here? Probably the whole kitchen. All right, and do you know what? And just because... <laughs> Just because it's fun, because we can do this now. I'm going to grab these posters so we can do a little bit of decorating back at the base. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Mama's Justice, you can go first. Sexual Tension, the movie. <laughs> I can know. I like, I like having a bit of a gap just for aesthetics but they were together like three in a row from where I picked them up from uh, body uh, mega crush that can go in the kitchen I think that looks all right maybe we can rejig this a bit later if we want to okay before we sign this episode off what can we make right now so the gas stove top uh, I thought I had a burner well these come from ovens maybe I'm thinking about my practice game that I had before I started but yeah these these burners come from cranking ovens propane tanks oh that's a good point gonna need one of those I think you get them from barbecues the uh, the note said well the rest of that's pretty easy and then we can make a gas stove top what was the other thing like I can't remember um, oh yeah we need the workbench so we'll get that tomorrow as well furnace oh furnace 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 how do I make that what do I need Oh, rusty barrel? Hang on. I've got iron here somewhere. Have I not got the broadcast thing turned on? On my cupboards? Yes, I have. Where's all the iron I have? I swear I had a ton of iron. Oh, well, maybe maybe it's in the car? I'll check that. Okay, but yeah. Need an empty rusty barrel and then some iron and we can make our furnace. Our wood planks. I think we can buy the wood planks from the guy outside. All right. One last little mission before we finish the episode. I think, yeah, over there. There's a barrel. Oh my god, there's also a bunch of zombies. <laughs> this is so dumb. Grab it. Come on. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're back. Alright, so now I need I need some iron. How much was it? 20 iron. 
three wood planks. Okay, I can buy the wood planks from Hank. Two, three, okay. No, <laughs> I'll leave that to you guys. Nice one, geezers. Uh, there's got to be something I can crank to get some fucking iron around here. Okay, we have the iron. Let's get over here, get our furnace cooking. Oh, there's our table saw as well. Let's place that. Uh, so the furnace is cooking, table saw is going down. We'll stick it over here. And that is looking pretty good. So now, now when we chop trees, we can use this to turn them into these uh, fancy planks, which we actually need to build. So you can't just chop down trees and then use the wood straight away to build shit with. You now have to use it on the table saw first to turn it into these fancy planks. But that's why we love this mod, because it just makes everything that little bit more realistic. As, <laughs> as realistic as zombie apocalypse games can be anyway. So with that, thank you for watching. Tomorrow, first thing, we'll head up to the dead rooster, take that place over, clear it out, and then think about how we can convert that into an easy, easy horde base for the day seven horde, which is still a few days away. And then we'll head out with any time that we've got left and try and find a workbench that we can bring home and repair and get that up and running. Things are looking good, guys. This is a great start to the series. I really appreciate you being here watching this with me. So until next time, have a happy apocalypse. <laughs> All right, see ya.